the business of the Biden family. What have you learned? We are finally having people cooperate with us. I think we all know the Biden administration stonewalling. Janet Yellen, Yellen is stonewalling, not turning over the, the bank violations. But fortunately, since we've last spoken, we actually have bank records in hand. We have individuals who are working with our committee. Well, we can most certainly stop it there because this is truly well, the M-O-A-B-B, the mother of all Biden bombs, because everything has now changed. I told you it was coming because it appears Biden has become an inconvenience to both parties now. After unanimously in both the Senate and the House of Representatives voting to release the COVID intel heading to Biden's desk himself, will he sign it? Well, this story may tell you if he will or if he won't, at least a portion of it. Because again, it appears he has outlived his usefulness now. Coming into a new presidential election sooner than most would realize or would feel, well, both parties have to start putting their chess pieces in place. And lo and behold, out comes all the information. Have they decided his reign is over? Is that why they're releasing bombshell after bombshell? And this very specific mother of all Biden bombs has now landed and just wait until you hear the entire story. Now, before we get there, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please just take a few seconds to do that. Make sure your bell is checked so you're alerted to upcoming broadcast. At least we'll put a link just above to my channel if you can subscribe. I can't tell you how much it would mean to us. This is part two. Part one was aired on my channel earlier. Link to the video will appear right now. Get over there, view it, and then we're going to go into a whole different segment. How is the Mexican drug cartel more important to what it appears the Biden administration than the American people? I'm going to tell you that story. And unfortunately, when I put it in the context, I will, you'll quickly understand exactly why that should never be. That's at Restricted Republic, discount code FREEDOM, $5 a month, two years, 14 days for free, audience-funded news, and everything you've been looking for in one place. No commercials, no interruptions. It's why we created the platform. It's why it's growing every day. So please become a part of the Restricted Republic family. Again, RestrictedRepublic.com, discount code FREEDOM, $5 a month, two years, plus 14 days for free. But now, Let's get on with this broadcast because I've been looking forward to bring it to you all day today as over the last 72 hours things have developed unlike anything we've ever seen. Now we've reported to you Eric Schwerin amongst many others are now cooperating. There are lawyers in contact with this oversight committee. Key Hunter Biden associate cooperating Congress opening crucial window into Joe Biden dealings and wait till you hear well in part what they found everybody else stonewalling Janet Yellen trying to make sure they don't get these records but now they have and as you'll hear James Comer talk about court precedents to go ahead and get those records and it's not looking good because things are tying all the way back to that garage I know, fairly easy to follow once you get through it, at least when we put it in this context for you. Attorneys, uh, and th that would be four individuals who had uh, uh, ties in with the Biden family on their various schemes around the world. So now we have in hand documents that show just exactly how the Biden family was getting money uh, from the Chinese Communist Party. And Ooh, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? Wow. Suddenly we're to believe that all this is leaking out. There's always a method to the madness, so don't think for a minute there isn't. He has obviously outlived his usefulness. He has weakened us in the world stage. He is all but demolishing the economy. He's proposing new taxes on the rich. It's amazing right after he did that how things suddenly started to turn on him now, didn't they? Hunter Biden said he'd be happy to introduce business partners to top Chinese officials. Well, we've known that before from the laptop and those emails. But a new focus is now coming to play. Something a little bit more different. Something stitched up a little tighter. And we watch these details unfold for months upon months upon months, if not years, and most of the time nothing ever comes of it. But now I think we're in a different position. I think the Democrats realize that they need somebody else at the helm of the ship. And once they make that decision, it doesn't matter what you try to do to stand in their way. They'll get what they want. And in this case, Biden would be standing in their way. Now, will anything ever happen? I've heard everybody put up on the comments that, well, a lot of people put up in the comments. No, nothing will ever happen. But you can never think that, not for a moment. 
because when they decide you're done, well, they'll always find a patsy, won't they? And it looks like right now in center stage could be Biden or Fauci or both because they have to distance themselves quickly, not only from China, they have to distance themselves from COVID, they have to distance themselves from the failures that the administration has put upon all the American people. And what will they do to make sure they can draw the greatest distance? Well, what's better than give cannon fodder for the next inbound Democrat to take over the helm and that is what we're looking at right now but let's move on with a little bit more of that interview hey it's as bad as we thought maria it's very concerning uh we have a lot stronger case in court for why we need these documents that the biden family's withholding and that the government's withholding so they have unintentionally helped our case uh, give the american people the truth and the transparency that they deserve oh we deserve a lot from our leadership in washington but that does not mean we ever get it except for when someone becomes an inconvenience i'm going to repeat that statement over and over and over or there is such a preponderance of evidence leading in one direction that you know you can't reverse course and that evidence Evidence is stacking up. Hunter Biden lived in classified document house while raking in millions through Chinese intelligence ties. What does that mean? What's rumor? What's hearsay? What's fact? What's fiction? Well, we could start to sort through it. You remember the famous picture in the Corvette that also appears here. Biden's driving away out of the same house with the what appears to be some of those documents behind him on this background screening document filled out by Hunter Biden. Monthly rent, 49910 Well, not really, because that's actually associated with another transaction. It's amazing how many mistakes you can make when you're not paying attention. Hunter made an error and listed his rent as $49,910, when in fact that's the amount of the security deposit and six months of rent for prime office space at the prestigious House of Sweden in Washington, D.C. What's most interesting is that date, Hunters listed as living in Wilmington, Delaware residents, as claimed on other documents and financial comments overlap with the period in which, and we'll show you this, multiple Biden family members were allegedly taking money from the foreign businessmen with ties to the Chinese government. CEFC as a state direct entity in 2018, Yi Jingming, how many times have we talked about him and what trans transactions were happening about the same time? The diamond is back in the story. The one that was given to Hunter Biden, 3.16 carat. Wow, nice, huh? Clarity, VS2, cut excellent color, F. And it appears Biden is now getting an F grade also because there's what now is coming out, a preponderance of evidence pointing in a very bad direction for the Biden family but I'll let James Comer continue. With all the influence peddling he's done, we wonder why was Hunter Biden so concerned about Joe Biden's documents? So it's a good question. Definitely a good question, especially now that we know we're in the garage of the house that Hunter was also living in and the house with multiple pictures taken, but it was only a couple documents in the beginning. Remember that. Not anything like the Trump saga. Now it comes out there was nine more boxes of documents found. So really, it's very similar to the Trump saga. Over 150 suspicious Hunter or James Biden financial transaction flagged by the banks. The movie, the money, was moving back and forth at such a pace that it tripped off the banking system's flags. Now, nobody's been given full information or made privy to the full extent of those transactions. But James Comer, it appears now, has the information because people are helping him link the entire story together, most likely to cover their own proverbial behinds. Isn't it wonderful when a house of cards just collapses right before your very eyes? but there's more to the story. Suspicious activity reports, which are the bank violations for the banks, the banks would look at this like, well, they must be laundering money or something. I don't necessarily think they were laundering money, Maria. It looks to me like they were trying to hide the source of that money, and the source was the Chinese Communist Party. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Isn't it amazing how it all pieces together? And weeks ago, I was told this story would develop into nothing. It will simply disappear, but it doesn't appear at all. It's going anywhere it's staying front and center in the american public attention where is exactly it belongs 
No one can ever just push this story aside and say nothing will happen because it could go to frame in again, just like the COVID saga, something far larger than anyone could ever have imagined at the offset. But as more details and facts come to light, eh, well, everything starts to come into an entirely different focus now, doesn't it? But we've been focused on it the whole time. And we're going to make sure you're able to also by sorting through the litany of mainstream media misdirection and keep you on point. And that's what we do here at Restricted Republican. Thank you enough for allowing me again to add this video to our ever-growing collection of information that matters. News, reference, resource, that is what we do at Restricted Republic. I love you all. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless. Justice Knight, signing out. Mm -hmm.